Superintendent Dr. Angela Chapman says they're going to continue to tend to the needs of the whole child to ensure the success of their students. That being said, though, the district is now taking a step back to address areas that they can improve on. In today's More to the Score meeting, leadership from Columbus City Schools took the chance to dig deeper into the report card score it received from the state last month. The district received a score of two out of a possible five. We know that we must attend to the needs of the whole child in order to ensure the success of our students. The five areas that make up the overall score are achievement, progress, gap closing, graduation rate, and early literacy. Dr. Angela Chapman, CCS superintendent, says some of the goals the district has are now to strengthen early literacy through the third grade and closing opportunity gaps to increase graduation rate. But she also pointed out each school gets its own score as well. And we have many, many of our schools um, excelling and demonstrating steady progress and growth in all five of these components. For instance, 95% of CCS schools improved chronic absenteeism. CCS leadership pointing out their scores are not out of character in comparison to others. So the overall scores across the state of Ohio are not back to pre-pandemic levels. I think additionally, the pandemic had, as Dr. Chapman mentioned, a um, larger impact in urban centers than it did uh, in other areas. And District leaders saying they are dedicated to bringing about change and that they're confident it'll be reflected in report cards to come. There will be another more to the score presentation coming up next week. District leaders saying they will continue to do presentations like this to keep people informed and to find ways to work with those in the community to make education better for all students in Columbus City Schools.